Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today we're going back to the basics, good old fashioned Inventor719, where we, we will be making a very simple Nerf gun. I did title the video how to make a simple Nerf gun, but it can also be used with airsoft BBs, skewers, and whatever else will fit in the barrel really. And all you will need is a duster, but buster, blaster, whatever you want to call it. I got mine from Dollarama. You're going to need some scissors, tape, a pen, and either of these pieces of ammunition. So first grab your dust blaster. Of course you can see on the can here, inhaling contents may be fatal. They put that here on like five places just in case you didn't get it the first time. So please don't go ahead and inhale this stuff using a well ventilated area, etc. Blah blah blah. So basically, all you do, take the cap off. Mine kind of cool, looks like an actual trigger. And as you can see, they are actually pretty powerful. So, to modify this, you're going to get your pen. And as I've done in probably over a hundred videos now, we're going to be using the pen just for the barrel. So, go ahead now and take apart your pen as you see here. Now once you've taken all the little pieces off your pen, you're left with a 6mm barrel which is perfect for airsoft BBs on the inside or nerf bullets on the outside, nerf darts sorry. Um, anyway, if you want to use it for an airsoft gun, keep the barrel full length because that will get you the longest velocity and the straightest accuracy. But we'll make a nerf gun in today's video so you don't actually need a long barrel since the nerf goes over top. So we're going to go ahead and chop it in half for a nice short little pistol style feel. And then using the tape, all you want to do is simply tape it on the end as straight as possible. Depending on the size of your nozzle, as you can see mine's unfortunately the exact same size. I could make an adapter piece to go in between the two, but we're going to keep it simple today and just tape it on like so. As you can see here, I first roughly line it up. I'm using Gorilla Tape, it is very strong stuff. Duct tape would work as well, but I like the nice black finish of Gorilla Tape. All you need is a piece maybe a few inches long, like that. Make sure it's nice and aligned to get maximum airflow. As you can see, mine's pretty much dead center. Now we are ready to fire. Here's the Nerf bullet all loaded up. Now, it'll only work if the Nerf bullets are in perfect condition. And unfortunately, mine have been used in so many inventions, they crack over time. So what we're going to do is use some tape, wrap around the bullet, and we'll be ready to fire. Here we go in my good old apartment shooting range. Going to be shooting over there near the door. Give it a shake to help compress the gas for best results. Then push down one really fast, hard trigger pull. Here we go. Firing in three, two, one. Maybe let's try some airsoft BBs now. Quickly before airsoft babies, this time I loaded it in all the way so maybe more pressure can build up in the tip of the Nerf dart before it fires off. So let's try one more shot over there at the door in three, two, one. Much more powerful. That works a lot better. So uh, before you hate, make sure you watch that part and uh, let's do some airsoft babies. Now if this was a more complicated project, I would have added a T piece with a hopper up here and another extension barrel, but since it's an easy project we're just going to do a muzzle load style and why do one when you can do a whole handful of BBs? So let's go ahead and pour them in. Kind of hard to show you here because they got to go in the barrel, but I think that's about as much as we can take. There's the whole barrel loaded. Keep it on the angle so they don't fall out. This is going to make a lot of noise and be annoying to clean up, but I'll do it for the viewers. Here we go, shotgun BBs in three, two, one. All right, not doing that again because my landlord probably hates me, but I'm gonna go ahead and play that in slow motion. And thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this easy video. I have another video that has to do with this can coming up, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, please, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.